Hi everyone. In this video, we'll be discussing canceling subscriptions. Your customers can do this via their hosted account management page or via the API. But in this video, we'll be discussing canceling directly from your Recurly dashboard. The most common way to cancel a subscription is to first locate the customer in question. I'll do this by heading to the left side of my Recurly dashboard and clicking accounts. And we'll find the customer slash account in question. In our case, it's Joe Thomas. So we'll open up their account. And right in front of us, we should see all of the subscriptions that this particular customer is subscribed to. So we have example software here. And let's walk through the cancellation process. So on the right side of the subscription, under options, just click cancel subscription. You'll have the ability to either terminate this subscription immediately or cancel at the next bill date. So if we terminate immediately down here at the bottom, you'll have the option to refund. So we can prorate the refund, giving credits back uh, for the remainder of this particular billing period. We can execute a full refund or no refund at all. Once you've determined that, just go ahead and click Terminate Subscription. Now keep in mind, when you cancel a subscription scheduled to start in the future, that subscription will be removed from the account and will no longer show up in the account subscription list. One last aspect to mention is that your customer might have outstanding invoices at the time of cancellation. If this is the case and you'd like to cancel collection for that invoice, you'll need to manually close it to ensure that the customer isn't charged. So let's walk through that particular aspect with the customer we were just working on. So I'm going to head back to accounts, locate Joe Thomas, and I'm going to locate his past due invoice by scrolling down to the invoice section and clicking the invoice number that's past due. In the top right of our screen, we can see some invoice actions. Here we can either mark it as paid or stop the collection. I'm going to stop collection, confirm. You'll see that the invoice has failed. And when we head back to Joe Thomas's account and we find that same invoice, you'll see that it's been failed and closed out. That's all the information you should need for canceling subscriptions through your Recurly dashboard. If you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to our support team. We'd be more than happy to help. Thanks so much for watching.